Welcome to Rise Up Number Beer. So today we're gonna be looking at finding the factors of a number by Matt Yanata, aka the resistor of bad and the lover of good. Hashtag dark and lovely underscore walk by faith and not by sight. So we're gonna start with a definition. What is a factor? A factor is a number that divides exactly into a given number without a reminder. If you don't understand the definition, don't worry, we'll get into examples that will enlighten your understanding. So example number one, find all factors of 12. So we're going to be using two rules. Hmm? Rule number one, write one and the number of which factors are asked with space in between them. So for example like this, write one and then space and then the number which is asked which is 12 in this case. So rule number two, start looking for numbers that divide into the given number without leaving a reminder. So for example like this. Okay, so back to rule number one of writing one space and the number which is asked. Now you start uh, looking for the numbers which is like rule number two. So you start saying by saying 12 divided by 2, which is the number that was asked, gives you 6. The fact that 6 is a whole number, you write the 2 on this side and you write the 6 on the other side. So you go on and you say 12 divided by 3. Ah, it gives you 4 again. 4 is also a what? A whole number. So you write the 3 this side. And you write the 4 this side. Now when you say 12 divided by 4, it gives you 3. This is a tricky part. If you look at your list of numbers here, you already have 3 and 4. Now again, 3 and 4 is reappearing here. In this case, it's just turned around like 4 and 3. But it's still the same number, which means... All factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Let's look at example number 2. Find all factors of 48. Hmm? Let's start with the first rule of writing 1, and then space, then 48, which is the number asked. And then we use rule number 2, which is to find numbers that divide into the number without leaving a reminder. So when we say 48 divided by 2, what do we get? Remember we don't start dividing by 1 because we already wrote 1 here. And then the space, then the number. So we say 48 divided by 2 gives you what? It gives you 24, which is a whole number. So you write the 2 on this side and you write the 24 on the other side. So when you say 48 divided by 3, it gives you 16, which is a whole number as well. So you write the 3 on this side and you write the 16 on the other side. Good. Now, when you say 48 divided by 4, it gives you 12, which means again, you write the 4 this side and the 12 on the other side. Now, when you say 48 divided by 5, it gives you 9.6. What does it mean? 9.6 is not a whole number, so it means you skip it. You go to the next one. 48 divided by 6, it gives you 8, which means you write the 6 this side and you write the 8 on the other side. Now, when you say 48 divided by 7, it gives you 6.9, which is not a whole number. But when you get to 48 divided by 8, it gives you 6. Don't forget, this is the tricky part. In every case, when you notice that you get repeating numbers, like in this case, 8 and 6 is already in our list of numbers here, which is 6 and 8. It means you have found all the factors of that number. Meaning all factors of 48 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 16, 24, and 48. Let's look at example number 3. Find all factors of 250. A bit of a complex number. Okay. So we start with the first rule. Again. So we write 1, and then the space, and then the number which is asked, in this case 250. And then we go to the second rule again, which is looking for numbers that divide into 250 without leaving a reminder. So when we say 250 divided by 2, we get 125. So we write the 2 this side, and we write the 125 on the other side. 250 divided by 3 gives you 83.3, which is not the whole number. So what do we do in this case? We skip it. The same goes with 250 divided by 4. It also gives you an answer which is not a whole number, which is 62.5. But 250 divided by 5 gives you 50, which is a whole number. So you write the 5 this side and you write the 50 on the other side. Now 250 divided by 6 gives you 48. I mean sorry, 
41.7 so 250 divided by 6, 7, 8, 9 all gives you numbers that are not whole numbers answers which are not whole numbers but when we get to 250 divided by 10 you get 25 hmm? meaning you write the 10 this side and you write the 25 on the other side now, once more again from here, again, 250 divided by 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 will also give you um, answers which are like this answers, like answers that uh, have a reminder. So it means we don't use them. But once you get to 250 divided by 250 divided by 25, you get 10, which means it will be repeating. Now, once you see that it's repeating, like when you say 250 divided by 25, it gives you 10, and you already have your 10 and your 25 here, it means you have found all the factors of 250, meaning all factors of 250 are 1, 2, 5, 10, 25, 50, 125, and 250. So these are extra examples that I've given you. For math, it's all about practicing, so... Use this to practice, and then they have answers as well. So, thank you very much for watching. Please do like, subscribe, turn on that notification button to be the first to see the next upload. Share with friends, family, and classmates. Remember, together we all rise to higher heights, apart we all stay behind.